Time second date update. And whenever I go on a solo date, I like to spoil myself. Well, good for good. you, Jeffrey. Oh, me too, dog. And what does that include? Yeah. Well, a magnum bottle of wine. Oh. Wow. A for box yourself? of magnums. Okay. The that chocolate, is the chocolate ice cream bars. Oh, oh yeah, I love those things. Oh, yeah. And then kicking my feet up on the couch and watching Magnum PI. Okay, I see a theme here. Nineteen ninety one, season four, episode six. It's very hey. specific. And it's my way of spoiling myself okay. on dates. Okay. But one of our listeners, Mark, <laughs> says he spoiled his lady when he went out the other night, oh. and I'm definitely interested to hear about it, Mark. Welcome to the show. Uh, can I call you Magnum Mark, though? Mm. I'm a gentleman, but I will accept. All right. Oh. Hey. I feel like that's a name you already got from maybe one of your ex-lovers. But <laughs> Magnum Mark, tell us a little bit about uh, the date that you went on the other night. What, what happened? So here's the deal. I, I don't like to just, like, willy-nilly through things. I, I'm the kind of guy who I, I kind of like to spoil the ladies that I go out on dates okay. with. I'm the Ooh. same, bro. I'm Christian listening. The choir. Yeah. 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 Small choir. I mean, Alexis dangerous. likes that you're still single. So yeah, yeah. my ears perked. You're a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 why, why not keep it interesting? You know? So like yeah. by spoiling them, I mean, send surprises. Ooh. Gifts. Ooh, okay. Whoa. Why are you doing this on a first date? Like, it feels like, <laughs> I don't know. If I went out with a guy, I'd be like, you're, oh, what is he hiding? How are you already he's shaming him? Something. Brooke, you, don't, you don't even know what he's done yeah, yet. Yeah, you need to know what the gifts are. The idea. I, that's what I said. I didn't want to be a pessimist, but I'm just <laughs> well, trying to, you know, figure it out. Word. Okay. What? I <laughs> like to spice things up. Okay. I like to keep things interesting. I always have like full disclosure that this is what I like to do on my on my profile. Okay, okay. okay. So oh. people know going in, it isn't a surprise to your day. Exactly. And so, okay, great. Yeah. Let, tell us about your day. What's her name? Where'd you guys meet? Okay, her name is Ava, and I mm-hmm. met her online. I mean, she is gorgeous. She she you know who she kind of reminds me of that. Um, that girl on on the show. You guys know the show Riverdale. You know oh, the. Yeah. The crazy one? Uh, Oh, the redhead? Uh, No, no, the other one. Okay. (laughs) I can't remember her name, but like the really, really hot one. Okay. Okay. Veronica? Hot one on Riverdale, kind of psycho. (laughs) Yeah, I mean. That's your type. To to each of their own. Gotcha. Sure, sure, sure. So we're chatting for a while, like talking about our interests. And we got to talking about how stressful both of our lives have been lately. Uh, and, And just saying that we both need some relaxation and... Light bulb goes off. That gave me an idea for a date. Oh, Magnum Uh-oh. Mark knows how to relax. <laughs> okay. I All right. that. And he knows what to do with a light bulb. Yeah. What do you what do you what are you planning then? So I asked her out and I kind of teased her by saying that I had a little surprise lined up for us. Okay. okay. That's exciting. So I gave her an address for uh-huh. us to meet at. But I didn't tell her what we were doing, and I even blindfolded her before she went to the door. This scares me a little. See? (laughs) Yeah. Thank you, Alexis. I'm sorry, you're meeting a guy you never knew. He's putting a blindfold at you, <laughs> on you and telling you to meet him at an undisclosed location. Blindfolds <laughs> take a lot of trust. I know, sign me up for that. That's <laughs> so like I said, hot. she knew that she was getting into this kind of a date. Okay. okay. So I put this blindfold on her uh-huh. and I did a little reveal standing in front of the welcome counter. Uh, the welcome, welcome counter, counter of what? Where? Yeah, of what? The welcome counter at the mortuary. <laughs> welcome your dad. It's a surprise. <laughs> Everyone no, no, it was a salon <laughs> for a oh. surprise spa day. Oh, that's so oh, fun. Oh, okay. That's fun. Relaxation, I mean, gotcha. And chances are good. Like, she probably Google searched the oh, address yeah. prior to the being. Played dumb that she didn't know totally. Totally. That's yeah, what I would have totally. done. She seemed shocked and happy. Like, she seemed definitely excited. Oh, okay. Great. And then after the massages, uh, I had another surprise. Oh. A, oh. a special sushi Dinner. Mm, okay. Oh, that so good. So it does. We sat down and we ate sushi together. And at uh, one point, I tried to get her to kiss me by putting a little glob of wasabi on my lip. That's not going to work. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Was... When your voice got all deep and sensual, oh I thought something God. really good was coming here. And then you, like, Ew. why would she want to kiss? That, that would burn, man. Yeah, I, I feel like I have hurt. to take the magnum out of your magnum mark <laughs> yeah. at this point. 
I said, do I have something on my face? And of course, I was hoping that she would go in and kiss it off. But uh, no. she didn't. She flicked it off with a chopstick. Yeah. <laughs> I would have grabbed a napkin and been like, bro. I'd be Dude, concerned if she went yeah. in and tried to kiss the wasabi <laughs> off your face. Thank you. Someone's got stray food on your face. It is disgusting that someone else would want to put it inside their mouth. Okay. Oh, but you know what? The whole date overall seems like a pretty uh, a decent date, minus the wasabi yeah, kiss. Yeah. You, he put a lot of effort in. How did you end things? Oh, awesome. I mean, we ended things. It was great. You know, we, we said our goodbyes and it seemed like we were going to we were going to hang out again sometime. And of course, I hinted at another little surprise for her for our next date. Oh, nice. Okay. And we, but we have we have been chatting over the last couple of days, but um, I do feel like she's avoiding me. OK, I don't know, man. Do you think it's and I've had this problem. Do you think it's too many surprises? You're being too romantic. You're doing too much too soon. Yeah, let's go with that. That's definitely it. <laughs> <laughs> too amazing, too romantic. Well, but she has been responding to my text. She's just not making definite plans. I'm yeah. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. Okay. Yeah, like maybe it's too easy is what you're saying, Jose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's no challenge for her there. Let's find out. We're going to play a song. Come back. We'll call Ava for you and we'll try and get your second date update. OK. Thank you. All right, hold on, Magnum Mark. <laughs> Second date update. I've heard a lot of tricks for trying to get a kiss on a first date. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, mm. putting wasabi mm. on your lips and saying, do I have anything on my face? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard that one yet. No. Yeah. It would burn. But that's what one of our listeners, Mark, tried. It's uh, a curious move. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah. It didn't work. No. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> that's the moment that turned everything for you, Mark. Not yeah. all the spoiling stuff with the surprises and the gifts. Maybe she just thinks you're too weird. Oh, would, so hard. would you say you're weird, Mark? Wow. Because, you know, I'm weird. I've licked Tabasco off people, places, and things yeah. before. So, that's true. I suppose I have an interesting sense of humor. Okay. Oh, okay. It was supposed to be a funny first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the kiss part, it does seem like there's a lot of potential here. Yeah, you're really separating yourself from other guys, bro. The things you're doing, you're spoiling her. And then even the surprise kiss, it didn't work, but it was very unique. I mean, she's never going to be on another date, I'm sure, like that. I hope so. Or maybe never another date with you either. Mm. But <laughs> that was hard, oh, Jeffrey. Yeah. I'm just trying to be I honest think, here. Yeah. Marks, we, we got a wacky sense of humor, right, Mark? Oh, man. Yeah, I know you're joking. I, I just, uh, I really hope, I'm hoping there's another shot for a date. And I think what mm -hmm. the boys too, are saying, man. too, is if, if she's not the one that wants to go out with you again, that you just keep doing you because you'll find somebody I like that massages. appreciates that. Yeah, Alexis. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even finished my sentence. Alexis. You'll find somebody Alexis. Yeah. All right. We have a backup. Yeah. We have a plan B ready for you, yeah. just in case. Thank you, ladies. It's good to get that feedback because, you know, I do have a special little spark, and I like to do these little surprises. And, and you're right. I will mm. not stop. Good. Okay. You should, yeah. bro. Okay. And that's why they call him Magnum Mark. Nobody. <laughs> only you. The only one. That's, yeah. right. that's <laughs> why I call him that. All right. I'm going to dial Ava's number right now. We're going to see what she has to say. You ready, ma'am? Uh, let's just see what happens. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Dialing phone number right now. Hello? Hey, is this Ava? Who is this? Ava, it's me, Jeff. From the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, your favorite morning show. Oh, oh same energy. <laughs> it's me. Why are you calling me? Do you, you know who I am? I listen to you guys sometimes, but... Oh, hey, I'm here in a huge fan. <laughs> you are weird, <laughs> man. You are so weird. <laughs> I am just calling on behalf of one of our fans that's even bigger than you. His name is Mark. Mark is a guy that you went out with the other day? Uh, Yeah, something like that. But he made something, something like, that. like that. It sounds like you guys had a really cool night that he put a lot of effort into. Wait, he told you about our date? Yeah. yeah. He gave us the rundown that he had a bunch of surprises lined up for you with a spa day and a little surprise sushi <laughs> dinner at this exclusive restaurant. Oh, my God. He told you about spa day? Yeah. yeah. yeah why wouldn't he? That sounds awesome. I thought it was going to be a little sleazy if he got you guys like a couple's massage or mm -hmm. something, but he just sounded like he really wanted to do something kind for you. So... When I think of spa day, I'm sure you guys too, like you imagine plush white robes and mm -hmm. steam rooms and hot stone therapy. It smells delicious mm -hmm. in there, all that good stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. totally. So first of all, he blindfolded me, which like should have been a red flag, right? Yeah. 
I could see it being scary. You could think that, but I, you could also think fun. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to be open-minded, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll let this guy blindfold me, whatever. So we get there, and he takes my blindfold off, and where am I standing? Mm-hmm. Literally in front of one of those massage parlor rooms inside a mall. Okay. Oh, but, uh, like a strip mall, one of those. I've had good massages at places like that. Yeah, though. but usually, like I, when you get someone a spa or you go to a spa, it's like it's mm-hmm. it's either its own entity or it's in like a fancy hotel or something. Yeah, but you, beggars I, can't be choosers here. I mean, you can still get a good massage at a place like that. True. Well, what, like what is this like? Is this like it's a it's a place in a mall and they have like little private rooms where you lie down or what is no, this? No, there's zero privacy. Like there's oh. a bunch of people in one room getting massages on those weird like oh. the chairs <laughs> oh like airport yeah massages. yeah i've seen those at the I airport oh yeah they have with the mall oh, too when you're walking it's usually like when you're on the go really yeah. fast it's like hey i got like yeah. 15 minutes, minutes before my flight it was awkward i mean if you're gonna take me to a mall that does not entail me needing to be blindfolded you know <laughs> <laughs> here's a bunch of people <laughs> I guess I didn't think about that being like led through the mall. Uh, and nobody stopped him while that was happening. That's also like, well, that's, that's just, yeah. that's just malls. Oh, <laughs> Magnum Mark is back doing his thing. But wasn't it relaxing? It, it had to have still been relaxing. It was okay. Like, I couldn't really relax because I felt so awkward. And then, like, at one point, he paid for a foot rub, and he was audibly moaning no. really hard. <laughs> no, he That's wasn't. Not, oh, okay. I laugh. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, that would be me. I'm not even Stop lying. It. I love a good foot rub. Oh, so nice. Stop. Don't make the noises. One good thing about it was we were right next to this pretzel shop and I kept smelling that. Oh, I love the pretzel. Oh yeah, dude! How did they get that scent so strong? I, don't I know. mean, honestly. <laughs> okay. So you were you were into Jamba. it? No, I I was not into it. Like uh, it was too uncomfortable. But did you okay. like the the effort that he put in? I mean, he did put in some effort. Yeah, I mean, it, it may not have been exactly what you expected going into it, but like mm. the surprise sushi, like that sounds pretty good. Yeah, mm. I forgot about that. Um, the surprise sushi came from his backpack, and it was from a oh. convenience store. Oh, he said he took you to sushi. Oh. Yeah, he said. I mean, the sidewalk. Oh, oh bro. <laughs> this is like a, This is like the most romantic date on no. Wish. Uh, you know what? This is like... <laughs> He's like, he's got champagne taste on a, you know, yeah. Bud Light budget. He's balling on yeah. a budget. Yeah. It's made fresh daily. <laughs> there he is. Every day they make it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, Mark? Yeah. Uh, the- hey. Surprise. Oh yeah, he has one more little surprise for you. Uh, he's been on the other line listening this whole time. Wow. Yeah. The surprises just keep on coming. You never know with Magnum Mark. That's right. Ava, I can't believe you didn't enjoy your massage. You seem to be having such a great time. And that place is legit. It's got like a 4.2 star rating on Yelp. Oh. oh. Wow. Above a four. Yeah, but you kept saying, like, get ready for a spa day. Like, I almost packed a duffel bag. And then all of a sudden, I'm at the mall. Yeah. Oh, they, they have, like, you know, lovely fountains at the mall, too. There's uh, some nice smells. I think, I think, Mark, what she's saying is, like, expectations and reality. I mean, like, yeah. her expectations were different, mm-hmm. and maybe you elevated the idea a little bit too much. Look, didn't you tell me that the massage felt good? Yeah, I said that because I didn't know what else to say. Everybody <laughs> was there listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ava, if he would have just said, hey, you want to go to the mall, get a foot massage, and eat some sushi in the parking lot, would you have been dead? <laughs> <laughs> would you have been... <laughs> would, call the police now, please. would you have been down for that? That is like... definitely not my style. I would hope you know me better than that by now. See? But that's what you did. Yeah, that yeah. is your style. No joke, next to the empty massage table next to me was a mom changing her kid's diaper. Oh, oh. Oh. Now, you don't get that at a regular spot. No, this place is family friendly. <laughs> Okay. All right. I mean, just because I didn't spend a million dollars doesn't mean it wasn't a cool surprise. Yeah. I mean, he's uh, right. Yeah. He didn't even spend $20 on it. <laughs> oh. Does it really matter how much money I spent on massage? I mean, a good massage is a good massage. I, I, I mean, you're right. Just, I mean, I think the most incredible part about this whole phone call is that Ava's still able to talk after eating that gas station sushi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know the guy who makes it. It is such. Fresh fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> like gas station. Oh, no, 
would never <laughs> give us that. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. He put in effort. He listened to what your needs were, Ava. He tried to meet those needs. I get it. Everything you did was like, it took time. It took planning. But all of yeah. your surprises were just not good, Mark. I'm oh. sorry. Aww. She's honest. Okay, but he, he did save the best surprise for last. Oh, and that's what? offering to go out with him one more time. Oh, uh, uh, that oh. is fully paid for by this radio station. Yeah. No. What? Oh, <laughs> oh no. you didn't even act like it. Wait, Ava, hold on. Like, you didn't even think for a second here? Like, we painted a whole picture for you, and, and we have some actually nice gift cards that we can give to the two yeah. of you. With, like, a table and chairs at a yeah. real restaurant. Yeah. I mean, that sounds really lovely, and I appreciate it, but, I mean, the company is still the same, you know? No offense. Oh, no wow. offense? Is that what you're going to say in the end? I don't want to be in a room I, I think we're too late for that part. Yeah. I think this is the reason chivalry is dead. You know, a great guy goes out of his way to yeah. make you happy, and it's just not good enough yeah, for out you. out of his way, all the way on the other side of the Cinnabon. Can you believe that? <laughs> and you still said no. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Grab a 30-day free trial of Live by Live Plus, and you'll get unlimited skips, commercial-free music, and all of the podcasts and live streaming events you can handle. Visit LiveXLive.com slash podcast one to learn more and start your free trial.